What's happening, folks? I'm back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran. And we're going back to their 2010 album, All You Need Is Now. I've been really enjoying this album so far. I love Girl Panic, which we just listened to. Uh, the title track, All You Need Is Now, brilliant. Um, Blame the Machines, Being Followed, Leave a Light On. Honestly, um, I enjoyed every tune pretty much so far. So I'm really excited to keep going through this one. Now, I do remember people mentioning um, that it would be a good idea to listen to A Diamond in the Mine leading straight into the man uh, who stole a leopard. Um, comment on the titles, I'm interested. Um, yeah, Diamond in the Mine, um, you know, it's a bit opaque, but it's very clever, right? Like you get diamonds from mines, but you also have to mine your mind sometimes to get the information you want. Also a diamond, it's a very valuable and shiny, like ostentatious um, possession, but it's also very rare, so it's very expensive. So perhaps you know if there are lyrics I don't again I remember someone saying that it sort of leads into the next tune so I don't know maybe there won't be lyrics um, but I think it's a very clever if a bit opaque title um, and I think the metaphors could function in a number of different ways um, now the man who stole a leopard I've heard uh, from multiple people in the comments that this is a fantastic tune so I'm very intrigued to hear it um, in terms of the title as it looks on the page um, I'll say that maybe a leopard could be a metaphor for another person and it's this idea of, you know, the, the sort of the dance, if you will, between them. Um, although again, the use of the verb stole um, does perplex me a little bit. We'll have to see exactly what that is. So I suppose it could be about a literal leopard, but for some reason I'm thinking it's probably more in relation to a person. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. This is first, A Diamond in the Mind, uh, leading into The Man Who Stole a Leopard by Duran Duran on their 2010 album, All You Need Is Now. Oh, shit. Sorry for the language, but I didn't know. Using strings, using violins and cellos is like a cheat code to get me to like the song, so... Duran Duran is cheating right here. of them. It's like a transigent and electric. A tension string that seems to be like fraying apart as it plays. I'm getting like chauffeur vibes here. This is like dark but sort of deliciously delighted to be dark. But I'm curious. The 
comics in this one are brilliant. And again, it's like dark, but you're sort of happy to be there. surface noise, uh, saturated LP, uh, musical ending there, fascinating and amusing in equal measure. So again, I don't know if like this story of a leopard, you know, by an animal trafficker, um, you know, being captured and, you know, f documents forged to get it through customs and so on, if that constituted the main sort of crux of the story or whether it was just sort of a stepping stone to build this metaphor in relation to a person, maybe a woman, um, in the wild as a leopard that, you know, you set your sights on and even though you're really not supposed to have them, um, you know, you watch them while they sleep, you take your moment and you capture them, you steal them. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe it could be both. Maybe it is the more literal interpretation. Um, but yeah, you know, with Simon LeBlanc's lyrics, it's almost like I'm on, I'm on guard to like, you know, think of any possible interpretation, which again, I, I love the way he does this, like, you know, sketching images and details, but not necessarily filling in every part of the story so that like, you know, you're not necessarily free to play with it, however, but there are different ways that different brains can take it. So, um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. Even so, um, if you have a more like specific or, um, you know, a, an opinion or not an opinion, um, an interpretation um, based on something that you've read or, you know, something that um, one of them has talked about in an interview or something, please do let me know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to listen to this some, one some more. As I said, sonically at the beginning, it was really mind, reminding me of The Chauffeur, and that's just an amazing thing, because that song was, uh, as I mentioned, sort of a game changer. I was already enjoying going through their catalog, but that was the one that just set my brain on fire. and was like, oh my God, like, this is crazy. Um, so yeah, that was great. Let me know what you think. Other than that, have a good day, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.